peace of the Lord be with you now to all eternity. Amen. This morning, the theme is the flesh condemned on the cross. And the scripture reading is recorded in Romans 8 verse 3. And it reads as follows, reading from the New International Version. For what the law was powerless to do because it was weakened by the flesh, God did by sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh to be a sin offering. And so he condemned sin in the flesh. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God. Amen. This verse continues to explain how it is possible that there is no condemnation from God for those who are in Christ Jesus by faith. This was stated in empathic terms in verse 1 in a statement flowing directly from Paul's reference to Christ at the end of the chapter, chapter 7. Paul has built a clear case that the law of Moses cannot save. Those who live under it instead, beloved, the law simply shows that we cannot keep the law, Romans 7, verse 7 to 12. We cannot escape our sinful and make ourselves acceptable to God. He had to step in to save us from ourselves. God had to step in to save us from destruction, beloved. Because the lives we live are sinful. And God is too holy to look at sinful people. The things that we do, the things that we say, the desires in our hearts, most of the time is not pleasing to God. And that's why Christ had to come and pay the price forever. Imagine the courtyards of the temple, the slaughtering of innocent animals as sacrifices. God had to stop it. How many more cows, doves and sheep would we have been slaughtered to atone for our sins? Before the end of the day, we are back to square one. We have offended God by what we do and how we did things. What did God do? He sent His only begotten Son to earth in the human body just like all the other bodies. Except Jesus' body was not full of sin. Hebrew 4 verse 5 He never sinned. God sent Jesus in a body that He could condemn all sin through the punishment of the one who was sinless. As the following verse will show us, beloved, God did this because it was necessary to fulfill the law's requirement of death for sin and life for righteousness. And that's why God changed the sacrifice from the slaughtering of animals to the crucifixion of His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. And that's why the flesh was condemned to the cross. So to give us new life, new life, beloved, that we have in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Saviour. Amen.
God bless you, congregation. The blood that Jesus shed for me Way back on Calvary The blood Gives me strength from the day to day. Father God, we come before your throne of mercy today and we thank you, Lord, for this day. Thank you for your grace and your love and your mercy. Thank you, Lord, for the courage and the strength that you're giving us every day. We pray for those who lost loved ones. We ask that you must comfort them in this time. We pray for those who are infected with COVID-19. You said in your word of Isaiah, the Lord is compassionate and when you cry to him for help, he will answer you. And today I pray with faith that you will carry us through, through the hard times, through the storms, and through all the difficulties that we are facing today. Thank you, God, that we can still pray to you and call upon your name. I pray all this in the mighty name of our Lord. And Savior Jesus Christ. Amen.